Right, welcome back everybody. Today you're joining us on part two of the Ryobi hedge trimmer. But before we get stuck in on that, I just wanted to bring the phaser out and just show you. I actually had this MOT yesterday. It's got a full 12 months MOT on it. It did have a couple of advisories. Uh, the rear brake is sticking and the front left leg fork is missed in with a bit of oil. So it's gonna want the couple of little tinkering jobs. I'm not gonna get around to doing them because um, I've got three other projects incoming. So I just needed to make a bit of space and the funds that I will be getting for this is gonna actually pay for three more. So it's a win-win basically, so one out, three in. Yeah, so let me take you, quickly give you a show around it. It's actually up for sale now as this video is being recorded. So by the time you see this video, the bike might actually be sold. So let's take a look around it. All right, so as you can see, it's uh, not in bad condition. It just wants a, a bit of a clean. I will probably try and get this done before uh, it sells, depending on how quick it takes to sell. Um, these casings could really do with uh, a bit of a scuff down and a repaint, but I say I haven't really got time to be doing that. All this just wants to clean up. It just basically wants a bit of a clean up, really. There is a little bit of damage there. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. There's a slight weep on this fork, so see my fingers wet there. So that was an advisory. The bike's only done 26,837 and it won't be going up because I won't be using it. So it is a tidy bike for the year. It's a 99, comes with the original Yamaha exhaust on it. I've just noticed there is a dent there. I've never noticed that before. So there is a couple of little marks on it. Yeah, I can't say I've noticed that before. I haven't actually gone through the paint. Could be popped out, I suppose, but I won't be doing it. Let's give it a quick fire up. It normally starts on the button. It is a cold start. As you can see, nothing what there. So we've got a choke on and uh, Lovely quiet engine on this. Sounds lovely. Yeah, it's a, a lovely sounding bike, this one. So it'll make a good, uh, a good bike for someone, this will, a good commuter or anything. This is a Mark I uh, Phaser, FZS 600, and there are gonna be a future classic, I think. They are starting to creep up in value already, these. So, cause quite a few of them have been uh, street fighted and stuff like that. So it's nice to find one that's complete original and all there. So if you're into your phasers though, Check out um, another chap, Nat's Knackers Yard on YouTube. I'll leave a link down in the description below for his channel. Uh, I've only been watching him a few months now, but he sort of like does a bit of bike flipping and all that in his garage, like a one man band thing, uh, buys and sells. He does some custom paint jobs and he, for a say he ain't got no spray booth or nothing, he'll say he just does it in a garage out of rattle cans. He gets some really good finishes on them. So yeah, I say check him out. He's actually just bought another phaser. He's already got one. Uh, Rat Boy, it was called when he got it. It was all, I think it was a stolen recovered one, if I remember right there. Might not be, so don't take me word up, but I'm sure it was a stolen recovered one. Uh, and it had basically been ratted out. It was all matte black. It had been a bit uh, abused in its previous life, but if you look at it now, he sprayed it um, yellow and black. It's a bit like the Kenny Roberts colours themes for the old Jamarars. And he's just actually purchased another one now, a uh, black one. I say it's, a, it's an original again, but it's had the front end changed about on it. So a lot of people do change these front ends on these. I'm waiting to see what he does with that one, because I say he does a lot of good stuff on the bikes. And uh, I do quite enjoy watching his channel, actually. So if you're watching that, 
keep up the good work, mate. And the yellow phaser is looking fantastic. So anyway, stop the waffling and let's get in the shed and sort this Ryo BH trimmer out. Right then, so we've got the old Ryo BH trimmer here. I haven't tried starting it today. Oh, oh yeah, the plumb bulb did have a hole in it, didn't it? That's why we're changing it. I'm trying to wonder why the bulb was empty. Um, so yeah, I actually went on eBay and found a new carburetor for it. I say it was 14 quid, I think it was. And that's a complete carb. And I didn't actually realize, like, I'm, it might have said it on the listing, but I didn't take much notice. I was just interested in the car. But it actually come with like a service kit. So it's actually come with a new spark plug. It's actually come with a, a spare primer bulb. So they must know it's a common thing because it's actually got one fitted to the carb already. So we've actually got another bulb there. It's come with a new fuel filter. It's come with uh, both gaskets for both sides of the carb. Uh, a spare bit of fuel line and uh, air filter because if you do remember when I did take this off in the last video I was just asking in the comments if it should have a filter in it. I would have thought it would have done but I see it did have a mesh on there but the mesh wouldn't stop fine stuff getting through so just wanted to confirm with people in the comments should there be a filter in it and that's just a uh, answer to me a question so we can stick that in there already and some people did say just cut up a, a kitchen sponge and stick that in there's all sorts you can do so anyway Less waffling, and you also get um, a carb tool as well, like the adjuster driver. Because I don't know if you can see, they're actually um, a special tool for these just to adjust them. And you can see there's actually a little s a slot on them there, and uh, you've got your screwdriver, and it'll only fit in one way, and that's there. See, so I'm not going to mess about with that, we'll see how it's set up anyway. So, what we're going to do now is we'll just whip this carb off. And we'll swap it over, we'll put the new gaskets on and all that, we'll put the new plug in for good measure and uh, hopefully we can go for a little start up and we get no problem. So I believe if that was a 10 mil last time, so and we need to remember we need to disconnect the old um, throttle cable as well. So I'll just get my long nose pliers out so we can take this airbox casing off. And we just get the long nose pliers on there like that. Just twist it round. Just push that round like that. And we'll take that off. Oh, I just notice there. I notice there's a bit of oil round here. And it hasn't got one the gasket on it. It should have on it. So that was one of the reasons why we're actually losing fluid. And it could be um, causing us a bit of problem there with air mixture. So with air. So that could be another reason why it's having trouble to start. But I say, I was just saying a minute ago, someone did say that these do suffer with the uh, muffler, the exhaust blocking up as well. So, but in, what we're going to try first is we'll try the carb and all that, get that going, give it a bit of a clean up first. Right then, so just clip, crimp that hose up there. Just have a look at the carbs. They look to be identical. So, what we'll do, don't forget your uh, gaskets. Just make sure you put them on the right way. They do have little holes on, so just make sure all your holes line up. I'm going to stick that gasket on first. And then you stick that one on there. And this was the one we was missing on this side, because I did notice we were getting a bit of a leakage. So hopefully that will sort that out. Let's just uh, push that back on there, like that. Right then, before I did stick that carb back on, I, I noticed when I was putting these fuel pipes back on that I wasn't really happy with the condition of these pipes. Um, so I've gone ahead and took the old ones out and replaced them with some of the new stuff. It was there. I've got a new filter, so I've put a new filter in, filter in as well. If the primer bulb's worn out after that time, I would say the um, fuel ho hoses and near enough going that same way. They've gone discoloured as you can see. So while we're here, we might as well get it done properly. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this car back on again. I'll just put these on and I can turn the machine over and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. 
that we need to just cut that fuel part down a little bit. It's too too long that one. So as you can see there, we're running now with fresh new pipes. We'll just get this uh, cable back into where it wants to be. Right, so that's the car back on with the gaskets. You may notice I've put a couple of little cable tyres on there. I was just not happy about it was just a bit loose that fitted so I tried to make sure we don't get no incidents so we can go ahead and stick our airbox case back on happy with that make sure you've got no leaks or anything as well so we'll just start to wind that on one two so that's that so we're just going to stick the air box back on now just make sure everything works as it should so I suppose we better make sure we're getting some uh, fuel up here and we are so that's a good sign all priming as it should so we can stick that back on we've got the new air filter in there is that gone a certain way yet so you probably have to put that down first mm. So I'm just going to change the plug and I'll be back with you. Right then, so we're back now. I've just had a bit of a tidy up. We've got the new plug in. Uh, we're going for the cold start. I haven't tried it yet. As you can see, the engine's still cold. So I'm going to give it seven primes, as it says there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Stick it on start and uh, Let's give it a go. Let me get you over here. So we're on run, power switch on, and will it go? Can't see why not. so that's the little Y.O.B. hedge trimmer seems to be running as it should now I will take it outside and run out for about 10 or 15 minutes just so we can be certain that it's not going to start bogging out or nothing and we're not going to spring any leaks um, I will leave a link in the description down below for the carb kit that I bought that come with the service kit which was quite handy if I say I think it was about 14 quid all in it took about a week to come and it should have been about two or three days but there's been a bit of delay with postage at the minute with what's going on in the world so hopefully the phaser will be won't be hanging around too long up for sale and we can get rid of that and the money i say with that will be going into three other projects so the sooner that's gone the sooner we can get these other three projects brought home and onto the channel so i'm looking forward to that and i say if you haven't already check out nat's knackers yard on youtube he does a bit of bike restorations, flipping bikes and all that, custom paint jobs and uh, basically customising bikes. And he's only got a little single garage at his house. So, yeah, go check him out. It's quite an interesting channel what he does at home in his garage. And I'm going to leave it here for this little video. And until next time, we'll see you about.